Hello dear children, today we will be dealing with our four chapter and uh, our four chapters asking questions and we will be learning about how and when to use do, does and did and before dealing with that we need to revise few things so let's have a look at it and also we have to learn a new thing so let's start what is a singular noun when we have one person one animal one thing or one place we can say it as a singular noun and when we have more than one person one animal one place or one thing we can say it as a plural noun yes or no we have one it's a singular noun if we have more than one it's a plural noun and the new thing what we have to learn is about the base form of the verb before that let me ask you a question what is a verb verb is an action word or a doing word the main actions we do with our body that is with the hands with the legs and uh, can you say some verbs? Jump, play, dance, eat, write, laugh. All these are verbs. And these are base form of the verbs. And when we add yes or ing or make it into past tense, it is to the base form we add these things. Look, we add, we I have few examples for you here. Look at the word sing. Sing is the base form. And uh, it is to the base form we add yes, ing and so on. So when we add s to sing, it becomes sings. When we add ing to sing, it becomes singing. And when we make it into past tense, it becomes sang. So actually sing is the base form. Okay, Sing is the base form. And it is to the base form we add all these things. Look at the next word, write. Write is the base form. And it is to the base form write we add yes, ing and so on. So it becomes writes, writing, wrote and etc. So sing is the base form and write is the base form. So, when we use do, does and did, these are the things we have to mainly keep in mind. That's about singular nouns, about plural nouns and about the verbs. Okay. Now, let's go into it. The first thing what we have to do is about how to use do. Mainly, do, does and did we use uh, mainly uh, for making negative sentences and for making questions so in this chapter we are dealing only about making questions so let's have a look at it do when can we use do okay if we have sentences with i sentences with you sentences with we sentences with they and sentences which have plural nouns we use do once again I'll say if we have sentences with I with you with we with they and with plural nouns we can use do to make questions and there is one more thing and the verb in that sentence remains the same that is the base form remains the same let's look at the example I read the textbook every day. So here we have the sentence with I. So if I comes we have to use do. So do I read. Did you see read is the base form. In the sentence also we have read. And in making the question also we have read. Do I read the textbook every day? Question mark. Do I read the textbook every day? Question mark. Now look at the sentence uh, with you. 
you sing very well so what should we use do you sing very well question mark so we have added do do you sing the base form remains the same do you sing very well question mark next one we know each other it's a sentence with we we know each other so what we have done is we have added do do we know each other question mark so no remains the same no is the base form so in the question also we are using the same do we know each other question mark shall we go to the next one it's the sentence with they they speak spanish so we are making question do they speak spanish so we have used do and speak it remains the same do they speak spanish question mark and the next sentence is with plural noun the children talk in the library children is a plural noun so there is more than one okay children child children child is one and children is more than one so we have we should use do do the children talk talk remains the same talk in the library question mark so once again keep in your mind what you have to keep in your mind is when we have i you we they or plural nouns we have to use do for making questions and the verb remains the same okay now let's go to does okay if do is about plural nouns then does it's about singular nouns okay so uh, does we use mainly with singular nouns with he with she with it okay when we have singular nouns that is we have one person in a sentence we use does and there's one more important thing that you have to keep in mind that is the verb will change to the base form children let's look at the example he plays piano well so here he stands for one person that is one person and uh, we have place so we have to change the place into the base form so look at the uh, sentence we have made does because it's singular we have one person does he play piano well so i have uh, a bracket uh, i have given a bracket place change to play so does he play piano well question mark so does we add at the beginning of the sentence does he play place change to play piano well question mark so actually play is the base form of the verb place change to play let's look at the next sentence she likes chocolate she stands for one person so we have to use does does she like chocolate so likes change to like does she like chocolate question mark the next one it rains in the desert we have sentence with it so it also is a singular so we have to use does does it rain in the desert question mark so look at the bracket rains change to rain rains change to rain does it rain in the desert question mark one more example jaya likes to sing here we have one person and that is jaya and so it's likes the verb is likes so we have to change it into base form of the verb like does jaya like to sing question mark so we have used does 
jaya likes change to like to sing question mark does jaya like to sing question mark so once again we'll revise does be used with singular nouns that is we if we find one person in a sentence we use does and the main important thing is the verb will change to base form that is uh, mainly s or es would be added to the verb we have to remove s or es we have to change that into base form like for example plays to play likes to like rains to rain likes to like i hope you understood i'll revise it once again do we use with plural nouns and the verb will remain the same does we use with singular nouns and the verb will change to the base form that is we cut s or es so we don't use s or es while making questions okay the next one did did is very easy did we can use with everything okay with singular noun with plural noun with he with she with it with they with you with i with we okay all the things we can use but there is one only one thing you have to keep in mind that is the verb will be in past tense so you have to change the past tense into present tense that's the only thing you have to do in did okay did we can we can use with any noun that is it can be one person or more than one but there is only one thing that you have to keep in mind you have to change the past tense into present tense look at the example they went for dinner so look at the verb it's went went is past tense what is the present tense of went it's go so look at the bracket have given went is past tense and go is present tense so what i did is look at the sentence made did they go for dinner question mark so we add did at the beginning of the sentence did they go went changed to go for dinner question mark did they go for dinner question mark one more example we reached the school on time so reached is past tense so we have to use did okay first you have to find out whether the sentence is in past tense so if it's past tense you have to use did so did we reach the school on time so it's reached to reach look at the next example children we reached the school on time so here the sentence is in past tense reached is past tense so we have to use did so the sentence will be did we reach on the school on time that is we have added did at the beginning of the sentence then we changed the past tense reached to reach did we reach the school on time question mark okay i hope you understood once again we'll revise everything do we use for plural nouns and the verb will remain the same does we use for singular nouns and the verb will change to the base form of the verb okay that is for example place to play okay that is we cut s or es if a verb has s or es we have to cut it that's how we find the base form of the verb and did we use for singular and plural nouns but there's only one thing we have to keep in mind that is the verb will be in past tense and you have to change the past tense into present tense like reached to reach now shall we go to the exercises are you ready to do the exercises and for that turn your textbooks to page number 14 page number 14
page number 14 and exercise b frame questions using do does or did we have like 10 questions and uh, we'll be discussing it in detail and uh, please grab a pencil and we'll do the answers now itself look at the first question children suresh plants a tree every month in the sentence we have a singular noun yes or no we have singular noun so what should we use we must use does okay so let's start does suresh plant a tree every month question mark plants change to plant okay plant is the base form of the verb so you have to change plants to plant does suresh plant a tree every month question mark d should be capital okay sentence starts with a capital letter does suresh plant a tree every month question mark because suresh is a singular noun so we have to use does shall we go to the next one and not only singular noun we have plants so no plants is in present tense so uh, you have to find out two things singular noun and the verb also second one the baby smiles at her mother so in this sentence we have singular noun and that is baby and smiles look at the word smiles it's in present tense so we have to change that into base form so the sentence will be does this baby smile at her mother question mark does the baby smile at her mother question mark we have singular noun and we are also have the verb which is in present tense so that's how we find does the baby smile at her mother question mark now we'll go to the third one i help my mother in the kitchen i help my mother in the kitchen so with i if we have sentences with i what should we use we have to use do so do i help the verb will remain the same do i help my mother in the kitchen question mark do i help my mother in the kitchen question mark if we have sentences with i we have to use do do i help my mother in the kitchen question mark okay the next one we reached school on time we reached school on time so we have in the sentence we have we and look at the verb it's in past tense yes or no if we have a uh, verb in past tense what should we use do does or did did so it becomes did we reach reached change to reach did we reach school on time question mark did we reach school on time question mark the fifth one peacocks dance in the rain peacocks dance in the rain so look at the sentence p uh, look at the word peacocks peacocks is a plural noun okay plural noun and so we have to use do so what happens is do peacocks dance in the rain question mark do peacocks dance in the rain question mark because peacocks is a plural noun with plural nouns we have to use do okay
Okay, the next one. Six one. They went outside for dinner. They went outside for dinner. Look at the sentence. We have the verb in past tense. So, what should we use here? Did. So, what happens is, did they go outside for dinner? Did they go? When changed to go. Did they go outside for dinner? Question mark. Did they go outside for dinner? Question mark. Seventh one. She won the race. She won the race. So, here look at the verb won. It's in past tense. So, what is the present tense of won? It's win. Okay. So, if we have a sentence in past tense, we must use did. Did she win the race? Question mark. Did she win the race? Question mark. One change to win. Did she win the race? Question mark. Eighth one. He helped a poor man. He helped a poor man. So we have the sentence in past tense. Because look at the verb. Helped is in past tense. So you have to change that into present tense. So what should we use? Did. Did he help a poor man? Question mark. Did he help a poor man? Question mark. Did he help a poor man? Question mark. And the ninth one. The baker bakes a cake. The baker bakes a cake. So here we have singular noun that is the baker and look at the verb it's bakes. So it's in present tense. So what we have to do is what should we use here? If it's singular noun, does. Does the baker bake a cake? Bakes change to bake. We have to write the base form of the verb. So it's bake. Does the baker bake a cake? Does the baker bake a cake? And the last one. The principal punished the naughty boys. The principal punished the naughty boys. So we have singular noun. But there is also one more thing. It is in past tense. Punished. Did you see? The principal punished. So we have to change that into present tense. So what should we use? Did. Did the principal punish the naughty boys? Did the principal punish the naughty boys? Question mark. So we used did and we changed punished to punish. Did the principal punish the naughty boys? Question mark. We will revise it once again children. We have singular noun and if the verb is in present tense that is if the verb has S or ES we have to use DOES okay and we have to remove S or ES in the verb that is we have to write the base form of the verb and if we have plural nouns uh, we have to use DO okay we have plural nouns in the sentence. We have to use do. And the verb will remain the same. And uh, if we have a singular or plural noun, whatever. But the verb will be in past tense. So if the verb is in past tense. So you have to use did. And you have to change the past tense to present tense. These th three things you have to keep in mind.
and please go through this uh, chapter again and again only then you will understand these three, three things you have to by heart it uh, very well only then you will understand how to use do does and did and now we have one more section that is uh, exercise c change the following questions into statements that is uh, turn the page to uh, 13 children here we have uh, changed the statements into question yes or no like for example they were th thirsty we made into were they thirsty okay the seventh one so we just crisscross the words and we made into questions yes or no it's the same thing here we have to again crisscross it and we have to make into statements look at the first one was he reading a book it's a question and we have to make into statement he was reading a book we have to change the positions of he and was he was reading a book full stop okay he h should be capital he was reading a book full stop and look at the next one is it a good movie what might be the statement for this question it is a good movie full stop we have crisscross that is it becomes first and is goes to the second it is a good movie full stop it i should be capital it is a good movie full stop third one are we flying kites question mark so is this the question we have to change it to statement we are flying kites full stop v w should be capital we are flying kites full stop we are flying kites full stop and the fourth one and the last one is the monkey climbing a tree so we have to criss cross it the monkey is climbing a tree so the t should be capital the monkey is climbing a tree full stop children please go through this chapter very well revise it at least two or three times only then you will understand it how to make questions using statements and also using do does and did so please go it once again and uh, if you didn't understand please go through uh, this video once again and uh, if if you're not still understanding take the help of your parents and uh, please learn it very well because this helps you a lot and uh, we'll see in the next class and take care